Ugen tent. And I wanted to see how that extra weight, and it packs down pretty good so it fits in under my seat with no problem. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to pack it that small when I pack it up, but it should still fit even if it's more spread out. I can, uh, how much stuff I can pack down because I've got the Atom 80 engine on this right now. I know I'd have no problem with the Monster, but the real test, especially for cross country, is gonna, in low wind conditions, can I get off the ground with the Atom 80 and carry all this gear and what gear can I carry? Go find a good spot to set it up. So this is one of my camping spots. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't walk through that with my paramotor on. Now I got all those um, hemlock seeds on me. Shit. Yeah. So this is one of my areas. That's where I made a weight assisted whip drill. This is pretty wet, but it's, I don't think it's that wet. I think I can make that work pretty level. I'll just make my camp down here. Yeah. Yeah. I assume that's the inner tent. All right, good. How does that stay? So I ran a little black flexible thing up here in the nose. And I'm gonna push that up in there and velcro it down. There we go. And then that's gonna hold that up. Let me find my stake. And that'll keep that airflow going through there. At it. That's pretty good. Probably not perfect. So, gas tank is down here. Airflow goes through there. That little black baton flexible thing goes there. The orange metal thing has kind of moved on me, um, but I can tension that here in just a second and that'll give me more space. The frame supports it here. You've got an air pocket here for airflow. So you look up in there and you've got this little thing here that kind of velcros and keeps that open so if you spill some gas you want the airflow coming across here 
so you don't get that gas smell. I'm gonna fix this real quick. All right, so let's look at the space here. Look at all that space there. Look at all the space around it for gear storage if you needed to. If you had a big engine, you can see you got two people can usually sleep this um, with a sleeping pad. So that's good. Not smelling anything. Super happy with that. So I'm gonna go pack the rest of my gear down. Actually, I probably should make a fire first. I gotta get everything centered up. I'm gonna watch the dust here. Let's see if it's forming in the notch. Yeah, there we go. All right. Not so bad. A lot easier than the first version that I showed. So it's important to keep this centered up so that you don't get bound up up here in what would be the socket, but that's your weight. And you don't get bound up down here. Keep everything perfectly straight. Fireboard can be long. I modified mine by putting more, um, putting a little notch down here for that dust to collect so it didn't get on the wet ground. But, this one. <laughs> so what I did, just made a little bit more coal dust to give myself a little bit more time to make a fire. I know that's hard to see. But they might. <laughs> So there's my, there's my fire. That's one of my favorite techniques. It's called my uh, leaf taco.